Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel. And this video is gonna be something a little bit different. First things first, it's gonna be a 3-4 because we actually have the Netflix Voyager Sparkless Seeker along with the two little battle masters, Sparkless Caliburst and Sparkless Singe. They're definitely gonna be our focus, but not in kind of the traditional way because we've seen those battle masters and this siege seeker mold a whole ton of time so i'm not going to worry about covering transformations and whatnot however having this set does kind of open up uh, a little bit of an interesting domino effect this guy may not serve as just a sparkless zombified transformer maybe he has a new life and a new identity as for the two battle masters ah i have a plan for them and neither of them shall be a sparkless anything and neither of them shall be a singe nor a caliber. Stick around, we're going to cover it all in the latest Got By True review. Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, light them up, baby. Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton. It lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all my social media links. All of that down in the description below. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what, what we offer to you through Teespring, or of course hit the join button right here on YouTube to become a channel member. And this is the Sparkless Seeker, but I don't foresee him as a Sparkless Seeker. I foresee him with an identity. I foresee him as somebody. I foresee him as having a purpose. Um, one of the things that really excited me, however, about this set was the fact that I was going to get two extra battle masters. I, could, I really do have a use for them. So we had another seeker of a mold I love and the battle masters that I already love and a surprise when it comes to the valuation here. A pleasant surprise. There's actually a lot of interesting things to note and discuss with this guy, not the least of which is this great paint scheme. Without any further ado, how about we head over to the table and take a closer look at this trio. Zombie Transformers, you say, with the Sparkless Seeker, Sparkless Caliburst, and Sparkless... Ah, who's the other guy? Singe. That's right, Singe. By the way, this is the first version officially of Singe that I've had. Why? Because the, I think it was Wave 5 Battlemasters, they never did come here first nor last, so never did see a Singe. So technically, this is my only Singe. However, there is a kind of a deeper story here because there's some things that I intend to use a different way. I'm not going to have a Zombie Seeker. And... And there's even an interesting thing about our value here. There's kind of a lot to actually dig into besides for the normal. But before we can dig into any of it, we have to dig into the packaging first. And we have us our Netflix War for Cybertron packaging. There's a picture of a seeker on the side. It really looks pretty much pretty much the same as the hot link. Um, Images over here, and of course we have all of the stuff on the back as well. Uh, for the record, take note because I actually have it kind of put away with my other blast effects. They do come with two green blast effects and this cool purpley one. The purpley one is the one that comes with um, uh, uh, Caliburst, I think. And the two squiggly ones, in this case green, are the ones that came with like Fire Drive or Fire Bolt, whatever you want to call them, um, and Singe, of course. So we do have the blast effects in there. This is the product images. It's product images. Instructions, but I gotta believe at this point, since this is the ninth use now of the, I think it's the ninth use, by my count, by my reckoning it's the ninth use, now of the Siege Tetrajet Seeker Mold, I have all nine. I'm not gonna actually show all nine here. We, we, we know what it looks like, you know? We'll have three Rainmakers. They look spectacular. We'll have the three main trio, they look spectacular. And now we're gonna have another interesting trio and I am gonna show this interesting trio. If you wanna see what eight of them look like together, you can go back and have a look at the uh, Hot Link review. I show all of them there when I look at Hot Link and I looked at the uh, uh, like add-on kit that I also got with him. That was back in episode 725. Now, this is where things kind of get a little bit interesting to start. <clears throat> first things first, the 
Lad on this side is Sparkless Caliburst. The mostly kind of greeny color guy is Sparkless Singe. Officially. That's not what I'm going to use him as, but officially. The Sparkless Caliburst <coughs> is exceedingly different than what was on the back of the package. On the back of the package, his arms and legs are still mostly either black or gunmetal gray, and the body is kind of this a tan type of color. That's not what we actually have. In this case, we have the arms and legs more of the tan color, and the actual body is kind of a gray color, and the peg is a, a black. So it's completely different coloration than what the product images were. The official Caliburst had black arms, black legs, and a purple body, so this is definitely a departure. I'm not going to be using this guy as Caliburst. He is going to end up having some paint work done on him to be someone else. Who? We'll get to that in a moment. And then we have Singe. Some of the reuses of the like Firebolt or Singe or whatever you want to call it, some of the reuses of that mold have been better toleranced than others. This one is very well toleranced. Both of these guys, very well toleranced. In terms of coloration, again, you got to take kind of the gimmick of being sparkless into account. They don't look like Singe and they don't look like Caliburst. But if Singe and Caliburst were zombified, yeah, maybe, sure, I don't, ten, why not? Then we have the articulation, same articulation all these guys always have with the uh, arms able to go around and, you know, the legs able to move, no elbows, no uh, knees. So, I mean, it is what it is. I guess it's a five for articulation, nothing to write home about. And then the transformation, we all know that both of these do a flip to do where you flip the thing up on the back and you bend them at the waist and you kind of put the feet in. That was a part that just fell off of the camera. It is the camera lens cover. I hate when that thing happens. But yeah, so nothing super special here that we haven't already seen before. Now, I said that these guys, however, are going to be someone else. This guy's going to be someone else, and Singe is going to be someone else. See, I had from Grimlock on four extra parts that got printed for uh, the flip over piece for the blasters. One of them is this purple part. I have a red one just like this as well. And I have another couple of parts, but I'm going to use the purple. And this purple part is actually going to go here. And I'm going to take that off and I'm going to put this one in. There we go. Now, pardon the cut, but this is a hint as to who this is going to become. You see, some time ago, I looked at Spinister with a custom singe and hair splitter. Now, to be fair, the singe there did have a little bit of a tolerance issue. And as a matter of fact, this piece that I just took off is going to remedy that tolerance issue on that singe. And I said then, you know what? Finally, I had to do some custom work, but finally all of the guys that I have that should be target masters or double target masters have their partners, and it was a good feeling until somebody pointed out this. What about Quake? And I was like, oh man, you're right. What about Quake? And I didn't have extra Battle Masters at the time. What ended up happening was I ended up getting the um, box set that had um, Skywarp and two of the Battle Masters in it. So what was it? Phantom Strike box set. Remember, that was a Seeker and two Battle Masters with Blast Effects. Keep that in mind about the Phantom Strike Squadron. And I bought that, and my intention was to do those two guys as Heater and Tip Top. But I did not do that. I didn't get around to it yet. And I thought to myself, mm, if we ever get the other couple of Autobot lads, I'd like to be able to have a couple in reserve. What am I going to do? So I waited, and I bided my time, man. I bided my time until I saw this announced. First, I saw it announced with Hotlink. I had to source Hotlink through someone. I didn't really kind of have that work out all the way. Then I, uh, and when I say work out all the way, I mean I got Hotlink. I didn't get the two little Battle Masters there. Then I heard about this guy and I was like, there's my extra Battle Masters, man. There's my extra Battle Masters. So the piece that I actually took off of the Singe, who is going to become Tip Top now, actually goes on the back of my custom Singe because the one that was on here was so loosey-goosey, it just fell off. Which means now, though I obviously still have paint work to do, I do have a uh, version of Singe and Hair Splitter to go with Spinister and 
And for Quake, I now have Tip Top and Heater. Yay, wonderful. So far, now I could say, for all the Target Masters that I have in my collection, ooh, baby, finally all of them have their Target Master partners. Granted, like I said, some custom paint work definitely got to be done here, but it's a good feeling. And another day, another Tetra Jet Seeker. To my reckoning, as I said, this is the ninth use of this mold. And you know what? I still adore it. I don't feel taken advantage in the least. Not even slightly. Now, that being said, I've looked at this a bunch of times, so I'm not really going to go through much of the detail again because we don't have to. As I said, I looked at Hotlink in episode 725, and I looked at um, Skywarp in episode 590. I looked at Thundercracker in episode 609. I looked at the Rainmakers in episode 605. I looked at Red Wing in episode 677. Starscream in episode 545. Um, Earthrise Starscream, if Earthrise is your thing, in episode 668. Uh, Thrust, recently in episode 810. Sandstorm in 807. And I kind of compared the Earthrise <coughs> and at least the main trio of Earthrise and Siege Seekers in episode 750 when I really focused on the Skywarp Thundercracker um, Earthrise box two-pack set. So that's a lot of Seekers. No Dirge Ramjet, you'll notice, but that's a lot of Seekers. I think I made a mistake earlier, too, when I was talking about the partners. I said that I had Skywarp's partners uh, with him. I didn't. I actually sourced Skywarp by himself without his partners, and I ended up getting uh, the two Battle Masters that came with Hotlink. I was saying it backwards. I was slightly confused. I do apologize. Either way, I got one of those Seekers without the battle partners and one of them with the battle partners. In this case, I did get them. Still keep that in mind because we're going to address that in just a little bit. This guy, I am actually going to name as Gr Grimewing. G-R-I-M-E-W-I-N-G. All one word. That's the way I'm going to do it. And I'm going to say that this guy is a Seeker who isn't the smartest, but he is very brutal and he is very arrogant. And he will do the dirtiest of dirty jobs. Even the Decepticons don't like to kind of ruffle his feathers too much because his loyalty is very dubious and very select. As a matter of fact, the only ones he's truly loyal to are the brothers that form the trio known as the Brutalizers with him. That's what I'm going to call this group. Hotlink, Grimewing, and their leader, Redwing. By the way, this here is a, uh, a custom Tetrajet piece, very much like the ones that we've seen before. This was done by Dragonfly, and uh, it fits on him really, really, really well. The only other one of these I have is uh, from the uh, Toy Hack set that came with uh, my Skywarp, and I, I sourced that, thankfully, through Event Progenitor. So this is kind of a copy of that, and it fits on him really, really well and looks really great. So he's the leader of a group called the Brutalizers. All three of these guys make a, a kind of a new trio. That's the way I'm going to kind of use them in fiction. I like this. I, while I liked having eight, I, I felt like Red Wing and Hotlink were kind of like in no man's land, so to speak. Like they didn't have a home to call their own. You know, the Rainmakers have a home to call their own. The main trio has a home to call their own. And now, with the addition of Grime Wing, so do these guys. How does this trio look in robot mode? And man, do I like how these guys look in robot mode. I, I dig this trio. I really do. Now, I it's funny because I kind of brought up the Starscream Wipe and I said, what do you think of this trio? And she said, well, Red Wing kind of sticks out. And I agree, he does, because the way that the paint fading and stuff is done on Hotlink and Grime Wing is very, very similar. So, like, they sort of share that faded in plastic look that we don't have on Red Wing, which is why I made Red Wing the leader. He's the one who stands out. He should be the leader of this group. So there you go, a new trio, the Brutalizers. I dig it, man. Now what about scores for this guy? So what about scores for this guy? Coloration, I'm gonna say it's a 10. I love the, like, moss military green here. It looks 
Like he, he's seen battle and seen stuff. Like he looks like he would be rough and tough and tumble and grungy and, you know, like kind of a, a, a hard nosed dude. You know, I love the interplay with the bronzy brown. I think it looks beautiful. Now, I get it. This is supposed to be like a zombie seeker. Cool. I understand it. If it's a zombie, then it should be like battle torn and battle worn. I like for me because I'm using them as someone else. I still like the look. It is still functional. I do wish we didn't have the. Uh, screaming, or not the screaming face, the smirking face, but such is life. I'm going to say 10 because we really don't have much to compare to. I guess you could say the zombie or the Sparta Seekers from uh, the Netflix series, but for me, I, because I'm using him as a new character, psh, why not? He looks grimy, he looks grungy, he looks like he would, you know, be hard-nosed. Uh, yeah, I dig it. I dig it. So, 10 for that. The transformation is still a 7.5 as it's always been for this mold. Same sort of tolerance issues. Now, I'll say this. Everybody has always talked about the chest on Star Screen. And I've always said all my chests, they're all the same. They're all fine. Uh, I've never really noticed an issue. This guy's chest does tend to pop off uh, the easiest from all of the molds that I have. So, this is the first time I've really encountered that issue. It's not a big deal. Far cry from a deal breaker. But it is something worth noting. For me, with this mold, it's the first time I've really experienced it. Uh, and then the articulation. Honestly, 10. The head, we already know, goes left, right, up, down. The arms go all the way around, out to the side. We have a bicep swivel. We have a deep elbow bend. We have a wrist swivel. We have a waist rotation. The wings, they can move all around. We have very high kick to the front and back. Thigh swivel built inside the thigh. We have a knee that's super deep because the back of the leg retracts because it's spring-loaded. Uh, the ankles go left, right, forward, back. The toes move, the heel moves. This is a stupendous mold. There's so much in here. So, so much. Um, why with the Earthrise guys they didn't use these arms? I don't know. There was no reason to not use these arms. You already had the molds. You already had the engineering. You could have still collapsed them and folded them in to the, the torso, it would have been fine. Um, anyway, such is life, right? Lost opportunity as far as I'm concerned. So 10, 10, seven and a half. Overall, I'm gonna say that for total, he again is about a nine. Honestly, it is a tremendous use. But is it worth it? Well, here's the thing. In this package, we had this guy and these two lads of blast effects. When we got a seeker with two lads and blast effects, as the Phantom Strike Squadron that retailed for $59.99. And I was like, man, that's pricey. I gotta say, I mean, it's a Voyager, and I know you have the two Battle Masters in there, but that's pricey, and I get it, it's premium, and blah, blah, blah. And I don't know what the Hotlink pack was, but I feel like, initially, those Voyagers were $59.99. Canadian, Canadian, let me be clear on that, Canadian. However, this guy, was $44.99, and I felt like that was a much better value. As things have gone, we have had $39.99 be the price of Voyagers now for a while, and I think that's a bit high. We jumped there from $29.99, and when I saw the price of this for $44, I was like, wow, you know what? I know it's $5 more, but a Battlemaster was $5.99 here. Um, maybe even $7.99. And the other Battle Master would have been another $7.99. So, I mean, you were talking another $14, $15. That's not what we were paying extra. I think this is good value for money. I think the price point on the Voyagers for the Netflix line, at least as far as this guy would indicate, makes it absolutely worth it. You get value for money. You got great paint. You got great offerings. You got a couple of extra Battle Masters. Everything here works really good, looks really good, functions really well. It's a great set if you can land it. And here we are once again, and here he is. The other two we'll get to in a moment. Um, so Grime Wing, I, I dig it. I like it. I, I, you know, I mean, there's a billion names that one could come up with, or they might just, you know, maybe you're the sort of person that just wants three or four of these, and they can just be like, you know, zombie seekers. I get it. Uh, for me, again, while I understand that they could be troop built. I kind of like the look of it, and uh, I, I'm good with getting this and having it be part of a brand new trio. Um, the Brutalizers, I like it. I like that name, man. I am down for it. Um, and I do have kind of a backstory for that trio. I understand why they fit together the way that they do, and uh, they all kind of share this arrogant, destructive mentality. I love it. 
I love it. And the other two felt very out of place without this guy. So I dig this. Luckily, because we had the two battle masters as well, finally, Quake has both of his partners. Yes, I do need to do some custom paintwork here for sure, but it, it feels good. It feels good to have the extras for this guy. So all in all, with all three members, especially considering that the price was much lower, about $15 lower than what I anticipated it was gonna be, I see the value. I mean, we have the price of a Voyager here, and there's kind of two ways to look at it. Either you have the two Battle Masters, they go for about $7.99 or something each here, so that's about, you know, $15, $14, something like that, $16, something like that. And the like value of the, the Siege Seeker here is definitely less than the $40 that he would be asked for alone. It's a good deal on a good set for good molds. At least it was for me. Let me know what you think about this trio. I appreciate you guys coming by. Give me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position, man, to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon, see what we offer to you through Teespring, or of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube to become a channel member. While you're at it, hit the subscribe button, stick around, have some fun with us. Don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single day, you do make a difference. And I look forward, baby, to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres with the old fashioned baby, right here inside the videos. <laughs>